Now, where does our cloud code live? Now, our cloud code lives in our PaaS server um, application. And specifically, if you look in a folder called cloud that I've uh, created in our PaaS server code, you can see a file called main. And I've commented out just a bunch of things here, but one thing I haven't commented out is this require for a file called hello in the functions directory. So if I look in the functions directory, you'll then find a hello.js. So here I've defined just a very, very simple cloud code function. It's called hello. That's the name of it. And then I provide a function. The function has a request and a response. So all I say is this cloud code function called hello. When it gets called, it just returns a response of success with the text world. This is kind of the simplest cloud code function that you could define. Okay, so what I do in main.js is I'm just requiring that file. I'm kind of just including it in here. Now you can stick all your code in main.js, but this is just a nice way just to break up all of your functions into different files. I think it makes sense to have all of your functions or each cloud code function in a separate file in separate folders. So I've created one called hello and it's in main.js. Then if you look in index.js, you in the top section here you see cloud. And you can see if you define an environment variable called cloud code main, it will use that. Alternatively, it will look in the folder cloud for main.js. So this one here. You can actually point this, it doesn't have to be called main.js, it can be called wherever whatever you want. You can even store it on another server if you want. You just need to make sure that when you initialize parse server, you can tell it where to find the main JavaScript file, which will define all of the cloud code. So this is already running right now and we didn't need to, we don't need to do anything. So theoretically, I should be able to call this cloud code function from a client code. So to do that, let's go into a JS bin. I've created one here. And all you need to do to call some cloud codes is parse cloud run and then the name of the cloud code function. It will return a promise with a response. And I, all I want to do right now is console log the response. That's it. So this is just going to call the cloud code function hello on our parse server. And it's just going to return the response. And I'm just going to log the response. So now let me just refresh to make sure it's loaded. The latest code, hit run. And there you go, you can see it got the response world from our server side and we just printed it out.